Dinner's about to be done for the night. We got some chai tip going. Horses are out and grazing right now. With the tri tip, we got some stir fry going on uh, jet fuel. Some garlic bread. Packing in, one thing I like to use is I hate Mountain House. I'd rather chew on a damn jacket than eat that crap. Go to your local uh, grocery store. I like Bear Creek, Safeway, Fred Meyer, Walmart. It's lighter than a can of soup, it makes eight servings. All you gotta do is add water, it makes eight cups if you wanna use the whole bag. Just like that says, makes a half gallon. For about two dollars and fifty cents you can make a half gallon of soup. You have all kinds between that between everything. They got chili, chicken noodle, seconds you got mashed potatoes good mashed potatoes whenever you can space it or save a uh, space I like to do that Just like seasonings, there's uh, no no reason to uh, bring a whole container of seasonings up. You don't go through a whole packet in a year at the house. I bring a little Tic Tac containers. This is my pepper one. I'm not wasting any space packing in. You don't gotta bring a whole bottle of your seasoning. Nice and thin. stir fry just cause you're uh, roughing it don't mean you gotta rough it cooler and you can take meat in for a couple days especially in the lower temps not too bad we're not camping next to the truck Got a little mountain stream up there you can drink out of there's no point of bringing in soda or any kind of juice you're just taking up space and adding useless weight it's one thing i like to carry get these out of any store all different kinds just add water you can fill up two liters with this just one of these 
light doesn't take up almost any any space. Another food that's uh, good to bring in. It's kind of nice because it cooks in the bag. You keep the bag sealed, get it hot, let it sit. You don't do anything. Get these out at the like REI. They're about twelve bucks a piece. They are pretty tasty. Make all different flavors just like the other stuff. They're nice though because you don't need a pot or anything, you just right inside the bag. Well, Saturday evening, just got our camp set up, your dolly, waiting for that to burn down so we can uh, start some dinner. It's pretty nice to pack in. Two bowls. Two spatula. Got the horses out grazing. Where's Baya? It's a goat rock back behind there. Here's our uh, bedroom view for the night. And if we look just over there, we got some goats. Making their way down. Take a look at the tent. We got this side rolled up and but you can stretch it out and you just hook on these hooks down here. But when it's done, it'll look just like that. It's kind of nice because the wall's back here. So you have a big dry area. You can put all your boots or whatever. And the sheet stays away from it. So your uh, actual tent don't get wet. This is a two-person Alps. It's about... 160 bucks. If you want a three person, 180, a four person, 200, just goes up by 20 bucks. Got sleeping bags here. What I like to do, take your pads off. First thing you get to do, you get done riding. Flip them upside down, let them dry out. Now we got our horse pads down for padding. We're going to be nice, comfortable. Our hips aren't going to hurt. You take your saddles. Put them upside down. With that angle, you got yourself a natural pillow. Throw one of your jackets on it. Now you got padding.
some running water down here for the horses and us. There's a highland we got set up. Amy in her blue pants. This water just comes straight off the hillside. And it is ice cold. I took a bath like an hour ago, and that's only like a foot deep right there. And I had to keep on getting in and getting out just because my leg's gonna handle it. It's about that cold. Over here, got a pipe that goes in the ground for a filtration. Snakes up, you keep that end up. Whenever you want water, there's our water. We came in here and push out a whole bunch of elk, and uh, they're still viewing behind us. Don't get much better than this.